Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down how to make an Ice Spice type beat from scratch. To be honest, a lot of the beats she uses have samples in them, like Gangsta Boo, Bikini Bottom, But Hubby World, but I literally just made a whole video on how to make sampled Jersey Drill. So if you're looking for sampling source, definitely check that one out first. I'll link it up here. But in this one, I'll be going through the melodies, drums, sound selection, arrangement, and everything else you need to know. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so I've got FL Studio open. The first thing I want to do is set the BPM. And for I Spice type beats, I hear beats ranging from like 140 BPM up to about 162. So they do get pretty fast. Quite a few of them are around like 147, 148. So let's start with 148. And for the melodies, there's a few different things you could do. If you want to go for the older style like Munch, then it's the classic halftime piano, dark pad vibes. But I've made so many tutorials based around those type of melodies. So I don't think I'm going to do that today. The other option is to sample. And like I said, I just dropped a sample drill tutorial so check that one out if you want to see those but then you have stuff like Princess Diana which is just a really simple plucky sound melody so I think that's the vibe I want to go for today just something really simple catchy and then just a lot of space for vocals all right so for the plucks I think I want to go with something like this and for the scale, you usually want a minor scale. You could start in any and then you can transpose it after, but I'm going to go with B minor. And all I'm going to do here is just try and come up with some kind of catchy, repetitive melody. Maybe down to like D sharp or D. That sounds kind of hard already. Let's bring this down though. Yeah, maybe A. Hmm. See, just something really simple and repetitive like that. But one or two, I could randomize the velocity. But I don't want to do it too much. I want it kind of sharp and plucky. We'll copy that one more time. And then in this section, maybe we'll just change something subtle. Let's turn the reverb off though. Just bring the release down a bit. Actually, what I might do is just press Ctrl and L, and this will just link all the notes together. And this will just set it to more of a legato mode. I think that'll be better. Actually, you know what? Instead of E, let's bring that up to A. Let's try this. I think that's a bit better. Let's find some other sounds as well. So I'm going to copy that MIDI, paste it into here. We'll just see if there's something similar. Well, like, that sounds kind of sick. Could do the same thing, just bring down the release a bit. But together they sound kind of hard. All right, I'm going to clone that again and just find... I'm looking for like one note or one texture just to play on top of everything. It wasn't what I was looking for, but I like the sound of this. And honestly, when I'm making this melody, you're going to think it's like way too simple for a beat. But if you don't believe me, just listen to Princess Diana. It's literally like one guitar instrument and that's it. I didn't just want to copy it and use the same sound. That's why I'm going for something a bit more interesting. Could bring down the velocity of some as well. Something like this could work. So I'm just going to hold the root note down. And this will just be in one section. And if I wanted to add more movement to that, I could add something like Tremolator. Let's change this. And then bring down the mix. And then I think that flute needs some reverb as well. Just one more. Yeah, because that could play in the hook. We could even pitch that up to A. Or I could have one section on D, let that play, and then it goes up to A. Just for those little bits of variation, I'm just going to add a bit of subtle delay to that staccato string as well. I'll set it to 2, just bring the input down, ping pong mode. I just want it just enough to hear it. There we go. All right, I'm going to send everything to a separate bus, and we'll add some RC20 just to tie it together. Just bring the noise down. And then we'll also just add some reverb just to cut out the lows. And yeah, I know this seems really simple, but trust me, once there's an acapella on there and some drums, it'll sound sick. All right, so let's get some drums in. We'll use the essential snare. It's like a common one I hear in those type of beats, but I'm going to pitch it down.
Okay, we'll grab a count snare. I like the sound of this WAP one. And again, with the count snare, the pattern doesn't need to be too complicated. We could just get that and copy it out a few times and then just bring down the velocity of some. We could add a couple lower velocity ones though, just like this. Can't lie, a lot of producers, including me, feel a bit weird when they make patterns too simple. They feel like the beat isn't good enough or something. But in most of those situations, we're just in our own heads trying to impress other producers or thinking that we have to do crazy technical stuff. But most of the time, the artists don't really care about that stuff. There's a time and place for everything. But if you wanted to keep it interesting, you could add something like a second counter snare and just layer a few of them. Honestly, it's not even necessary. But we'll see how it sounds. Alright, what we're going to do for this one is add two different 808s. We're going to try one like this, just a long distorted one, and then we're going to have a short as A. So yeah, in the envelope, bring everything down except for the hold. So I just want a really simple pattern. So yeah, I've gone up to D sharp because in a lot of her beats, I hear semitones in the 808. So just going up one step. And if you look, D sharp isn't in the scale I thought we moved it to. But if we check the other ones, if you look at G minor, G minor's got those notes in it. So we can basically turn it into G minor. these as well you know what i think something else is gonna sound better i love using this backward one we'll grab my go-to kit or we could use the chest caver kick another good one could use something like this banger kick this is another good one just change the pattern a bit though all right next up we're going to use the zay ring 808 i'm just going to copy the pattern paste it into it make sure it's set to cut itself we'll just see how it sounds What we'll do with this one is just copy this and we'll make it slide into itself. So we'll turn the bottom one all the way down and bring it back up. Just make it a bit shorter. There we go. And then lastly, we'll just take this. Alright, so honestly, if you just wanted to make a simple Ice Spice beat, this would be enough. Not that many sounds, you don't need to overcomplicate it. If you add an acapella to that, it will sound sick. So I'm going to show you a basic arrangement, I'll add the acapella, and then I'm just going to add to this beat, just to add my own style. But honestly, you don't need to add anything else. So yeah, let's just split this channel, bring everything out, copy it a few times. So I hear a few different arrangements in Ice Spice beats. In tracks like Munch, you'll just have an 8 bar hook, and then you'll have a 16 bar verse, and then you'll go back to an 8 bar hook. So those ones are quite short hooks, but then and in ones like Princess Diana, you'll have a 16 hook and then you'll have a 16 verse. So we'll do something like that. I'll even label it so you can see. But that's going to be the hook and this section will be the verse. And then usually what I do in my beats is add another section for a bridge and then go back to a hook. But we won't do that this time. We'll just keep it short. So for the intro, let's just add the instruments. I think we'll just use this one. And in some of the beats, I even hear it starting with the drums as well. You just get straight into it like this. But we'll maybe just cut this one out and this one. So yeah, we'll start with that. I'm going to take these two out, take the trap 808 out. And yeah, we can just go straight into it like this. But I'm going to add this swoosh effect from my Love and Walk It. I might even cut these. See how this sounds. Yeah, so we can just drop straight into it. 
I might take those kind of snares out And then just swap it I'm actually gonna save this flute as well There we go So then when it drops into the verse Let's drop the counter snare Drop these as well Maybe I could add the flute there And the transition too Yeah there we go Sounds hard So yeah the arrangement could actually be that simple In the Princess Diana track it's the other way around So I think the Trap 808 carries on here And then the Drill 808 comes in here And then in this section a different 808 comes in I'm pretty sure it's still the Zaybot just without that ring effect Maybe we could try the Jersey Bounce as well Because she does use that sometimes So we'll add a Jersey 808 here Yeah we'll grab the spins We'll just shorten it, boost it, set it to cut itself We'll just add the Jersey Bounce I always like to do this with my counter snares in the jersey part. I like to switch up the pattern just so it matches the jersey bounce. I'm just adding some delay set to two, volume down. Just to add more bounce. And even in the melody, I'm just gonna change the pattern a bit. I even want this to match the jersey bounce. Yeah, let's try this. Just a really subtle change, but I think it works. At the end, I'm just going to cut this, cut the count snare as well. Let's just rearrange this. I'm actually going to bring this back here. Have the drill one there, and then the trap one, and then the jersey. All right, from there, let's just copy everything. All right, so I've got the acapella in there now. I'm just going to play it from the beginning and see what you think. Yeah, just straight in with the drums. We come out and look like Princess Diana on the street. Hey, yo, I stop playing with them, right? Finish. Like, uh, keep it a stack. Just move on, cause they know I got bands. They be trying, I don't give a damn. I'm still getting money, I know who I am. Cause I'm below, he gon' hit my brain. If he's not, he gon' act like a fan. He was bigger, they got your head gas. Drill 808. So I give him my pass. Like, uh, keep it a stack. Just move on, cause they know I got bands. They be trying, I don't give a damn. I'm still getting money, I know who I am. Yeah, I'll be real, man. I don't know who make this is simple. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. So yeah, man, if you're feeling this and you want to see more Jersey, then click up here. Or if you want to see more complex drill, click up here. Like the gamers, like that. Keep it a stat. Bitches is ass if we keep in the crack. Bad little redhead shit.